Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make short sermon videos that are just 30 to 60 seconds uh, by using canva.com. Uh, so I am in my Canva account. This is the paid account. And so that means I have premium features. And so what I'm going to be doing is going to Canva. And then once I'm logged in, I'm going to go to videos right here. And then right here, you can see different options that you can use for YouTube videos, video collage, video message. The one I'm going to use is for specifically for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. So I'm going to go to mobile video. So once you're here, you're going to see a blank canvas. And so right here, you first what you want to do is just look for a design. So we can just see right here, there are templates from the left side. I'm just going to look and see what fits the best for my sermon short video and you just have to pick a background that you like. All right, so I see this gold background that looks cool, so I'm gonna click on it. But I necessarily do not care about launching and this number, so I'm gonna delete them. So delete. For this one, I'm gonna save it for the top because I'm gonna change the text. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna upload my video that I actually uh, cut and cropped for this Canva video. So I'm just gonna drag it in. So I dragged in my video, as you can see right here. While it's loading, I'm gonna go to Elements. And what I'm gonna do is go to this part where it says Frames. Th these are basically just shapes. You can just put your video in here, and it'll just be like a rectangle. Uh, but I like to shape my videos, so I'm gonna look around and see what shape I want to use. You can pretty much use any shape that you would like. I'm gonna be using this shape right here. You want to extend it out as much as you want to. So I try to put it out as to the grid, as you can see the border lines right here. Make sure it's in the middle. That looks pretty good. All right, so you want to go back to your video, click on it, and then you want to drag your video into the frame. All right, so that looks good. So you wanna click on this, make sure everything is centered in your video. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and make sure the speaker is inside. And you would just wanna play out your video a little bit just to see where the speaker's at because they might be moving a little bit. So as you can see, he is moving a tad bit. So I might have to decrease the size here. So let's decrease this a little bit. And then I'm just gonna double check it again. And that's pretty much it. Now for this uh, frame itself, you can also design it. I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm just gonna do black. I'm gonna leave that. You can also use different colors if you like to make it stand out more. But I'm gonna do black for today. And then after that, I'm gonna put a title. I'm gonna put snake prank. And I'm gonna just do command copy and paste. Put the speaker's name. And I like to drag it closer to the video for the text. Uh, I feel that when I put it on my phone, it kind of cuts off a little bit on the near the edge of the side. So I like to bring it a little bit closer. I'm going to use a different font. So I'm going to click on this. So this is what the video looks like. And I'm just going to show you right now briefly. A friend of mine, she has a, a level of fear of snakes, which is beyond normal. But my kids thought it'd be funny to, uh, to scare her. Now they had a wooden snake, but, but she had seen, I mean, it was obviously, like it was not, it was not like a rubber one that you could like convince. It was like clearly this wood with like pieces missing in between. It's like, obviously it's not a snake, right? And they would pull it out and she would go, ah! And like knowing it's not real, run into the room. She went into the room and uh, stayed in there for two hours. Okay, I thought it was funny at first, but now I'm feeling bad. Oh my goodness, we've actually, we've actually caused her some fear, right? And uh, so I felt like I needed to apologize to her. And I said, hey, I'm so sorry that, that my kid scared you with that wooden snake. And guess what she did? She ran again just by saying the word, the word snake. I'm like, oh my gosh, now I gotta figure out how to apologize without mentioning it, you know? 